What's up everybody? It's your boy Justin with Herbal Lifestyle. Today we are planting citrus. So before we get started, if you end up liking this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you want to watch more videos, don't forget to subscribe to Herbal Lifestyle. If you have any questions or stories you'd like to share, please leave them in the comments below. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So currently we are at the Cave Creek Food Forest Project. And today we are planting citrus. It is the middle of October. And right now you guys are gonna see how we plant a Trevita orange. Now all citrus can be planted exactly the same. And we're gonna get all these planted today, but you are gonna focus on this Trevita today. Now when planting citrus trees, there are a few things you must know. Okay, the first one is they need well-draining soil. That is gonna be a key factor when planting citrus. You do not want the roots to get soggy. You don't want them to clog up and you don't want them to rot. So what do we do? We wanna make sure we either have some kind of sand or perlite within our mixture. Luckily, here at the Cave Creek property, we have tons of sand right above the soil line. So we're gonna go ahead and scoop out some of that sand as well as some, some of the original soil and then we're gonna make a mixture. The other big thing about citrus is you need to make sure that they're getting the right amount of food in order for them to thrive, okay? They will grow without food, but if you could give them some kind of compost or some kind of amendments. Okay, so here's the hole, here's the pot. Right now you can see the soil is actually about an inch or two lower than the hole than the ground line. And you wanna make sure the root flare stays above the ground line when we plant. So we kept this base right here, but now we have some of this sand mixed with clay, some quarter minus as well that's been breaking, that has been broken down, okay? And then we have some of our actual soil mix that we've been doing somewhere right in here. Kind of pull this up. So this will be the actual soil mix. Uh, this soil mix right here is a mixture of sphagnum peat moss, compost, and then a um, and then the uh, native soil. So we want to make sure we're doing some kind of 50/50 or 60/40 blend when doing this. Either either one's going to be okay. So now we're going to add the amenities. What we're using right here is garden soil. This one right here is typically for vegetables and flowers. It's filled with uh, worm castings, compost, and bat guanos, and all different kinds of beautiful foods. We're gonna add the rest of that in there. And then again, we have sphagnum peat moss. This is gonna help air out that soil. Give us something easier to work with. Beautiful. So you're probably wondering, Justin, if you're only using about 40 to 50% of this of the native soil you're using, what are you doing with the rest of it? Well, I'll show you what I'm doing. So it's nothing insane, nothing crazy. It is just simply a berm. You make a berm, keep the trees in a big well together. You can see all their irrigation heads. They will be working together to water each other. Right now, we are simply using a garden hose to water our trees. And you can see it's just filling in perfectly right in the well, just like we want it to. And then it's slowly spreading out and reaching its way to the new hole. So we gotta get this tree in the ground. We got our native soil, about 40% of it, maybe 50%, about 40 to 50% of the native soil in here. And then we got some rocks that if we find, we just kick them out, okay? So now you can see we picked up the pot to about a little bit over the soil line. So now you can see we have it on a base layer of our soil mix. We're a little high over our ground level. And now it's time to fill this base in. All right, we have our Trevita orange planted. This is a beautiful juicing orange. But the one thing you gotta make sure about before you're done is you gotta compact the soil so it doesn't settle later. So the way we compact soil is with the plant dance, okay? So bear with me. 
Time for the plant test. Okay. All right, our tree is planted. We set the hose off to the side because we still got a lot more trees to plant. Typically, you just put the hose somewhere near the plant and let it flood. But you can see this water is going to come over, eventually flood it. And it's going to do exactly what it was doing right here. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to watch more videos, don't forget to subscribe to Herbal Lifestyle. And if you found this video informational, please share it with at least one friend. If you have any questions or stories you'd like to share, please leave it in the comments below. This is your boy Justin with Herbal Lifestyle. Live your life free and keep on growing.